What we know is that patients are very traumatised really when they have an intensive care experience and they recover after critical illness. But also we know that families, they can cope extremely well during the crisis of their loved one being in hospital. But when their loved one is back home and, on, and recovering, that's when the impact, the psychological trauma and the impact of that, um, family members can really feel it. And I think once you have a framework for understanding your experience, you don't feel so out of control and you don't feel overwhelmed and you don't feel so frightened by what's happening to your body and to your mind. Talking to people in the right way, giving them the right information, providing empathic support and being encouraging, it, it goes a long way um, with people, whether that's patients and families. So what we would like to be able to do is provide more psychological interventions to support patients in their recovery, um, family members in their recovery, acknowledging the traumatic aspects of intensive care for both groups. When we're working with somebody psychologically, we'll always be very sensitive to past experiences and really try to understand not only the recent, for example, in this case, COVID-related critical illness, but also what have the person's experiences been before? What have they learnt to manage with? What are their ways of coping that stand them in good stead? Um, but also what are their ways of coping, whether this is ways of thinking about themselves or things that they do within their behaviours? Um, how do they cope with stress? How do they cope with a sense of vulnerability? How do they cope with anxiety? And very importantly, the relationship between the psychology and the biology. So psychology has a very profoundly important impact on biology, on physical health, and we can really use that in supporting recovery after critical illness and after a virus like COVID. The brain at one level has an understanding that the person has been seriously unwell, um, there's a sense of fear, there's a sense of vulnerability, and I think the person at one level knows that they may, they've come close to death. And you often see that in the dreams and in the nightmares. So the theme of death and dying, either of the patient um, having a nightmare about have, uh, being close to death or people trying to kill the person or maybe a loved one in their life. Um, they have a nightmare where their loved one has died. And so those are very common themes in the nightmare hallucinations that people have. So as they wake up, they're partly still living in that nightmare. But actually to live through that is very frightening for the person. Here they are on the other side picking up life with the relief of having survived COVID and recovered. Their lungs are getting better, which is the great news. But the journey of recovery is very long. With these donations, we will really be able to help a large number of patients who are recovering after COVID and their families.